How's it going guys? Austin Fancy Motorsports here with another fun project for you. Today on this Lexus we are going to do the Audison Thesis in the front which is a very rare unique speaker. Very high quality of sound. This is the only pair that we know of in the US for the Thesis series from Audison. We have the six and a half sax and we also have the Thesis Violino uh, 3.5 tweeters which are gonna sound amazing. Uh, to complete this system we are doing the Audison Voce's in the back powered by a full Audison optical system and we'll cap it off with the JL Dub 6. For these 3.5 thesis tweeters we're gonna have to do custom pods on the dash to give it full direction to give you the best sound quality and you get the most out of these speakers. Stay tuned. We just wrapped up these 3.5 Audison Thesis custom pods on the dash here. Check these out. Guys, I want to take a minute with this Lexus to talk about the powerhouse of this system. We are doing the full HD Audison amplifier to push the back speakers and the tweeters in the front, as well as the Dub 6 subwoofer. To power the sax thesis speakers in the front, we're going to use the Audison Quattro, which is going to allow us to push 400 watts RMS to the speakers, which is very impressive. It's going to be very loud, very clear, very gorgeous. Stay tuned on that. Hey guys, this is George here at Fantasy More Sport in Northridge location. Today we will show you how we're going to set up the Bet1 processor connected to uh, the Voce Amplifier, which is a signature line from Audison products. We're very excited about especially this product. We can install on today the high-end uh, speaker line from uh, from Audison, which is their, uh, their Tisha speakers. We're going active in the full line pretty much and uh, we're running the tweeters on a separate channel, separate than the mid-inch driver, which is six and a half drivers in there. We can actually uh, go a little crazy and way and beyond amplifying the door speakers. In my opinion, it's kind of underpowered the way they rate them on their, uh, their website. Uh, they rated the power speakers at 150 watt RMS. Today we're actually going to have a quattro amplifier. We'll be providing each speaker independently 400 watts individually, uh, which is, in my opinion, a lot of power. But we did the setup before and it sounds phenomenal. Uh, we're very excited today. We're going to show you kind of similar in the process, how we're going to set the Bit1 processor and how we're going to get this dialed into sound as a front staging system. Stay tuned for that. Epilogue. So today, guys, we're going to show you how we are going to set up the Bit1 uh, processor on the Lexus. You know, program all the Audison amplifiers, uh, make it work with the bit. So first of all, we just go ahead and actually, uh, we actually went ahead and, and find out uh, on the particular unit, the maximum distortion level coming from the radio. The radio go all the way, maximum volume, as you can see, go all the way up to like 60, but the maximum volume distortion just came with about right at a 54, 55. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it right at that maximum distortion level so we can start 
the process from this point. Uh, we have the CD disk inside the CD player. We're gonna go and follow the, um, the procedure with the big processor. Let's go, let's check it out. So as you can see right here, right now, we uh, installed our inputs to the bit one processor. What is actually the processor, what is it doing now, is actually summoning the signal for the speaker front inputs and adjusting all the uh, sensitivity in the inputs of the processor and completing channel by channel inputs to fix all the signal inputs and get it to best sound and quality possible in there. As we can see, we already went through channel six, seven, channel seven is completed and now we're gonna, very soon we're gonna get it all completed. They ask us to hit next to continue we'll hit next to continue now this part right here ask us if the, most of OEM radios they actually come with equalizing system from the factory that in that case the bit processor give you the option to either de-equalize it or actually skip it completely and keep the equalization from the factory so in this case we're actually gonna look for and we're gonna proceed with de-equalizing the actually outputs from the radio so we're gonna go ahead next it asked me to change the track to track 2 go ahead and change it to track 2 so right now we're playing a white noise uh, track from the factory radio. We're gonna click next. Now as you can see right now the bit processor is doing uh, the equalization for the inputs of the radio. Right now we got front lift completed. That means we're doing such fine. So as you can see guys here we're using uh, in that application we're using two Autosun's uh, Voce amplifiers. First one is AV4 which is kind of like a 4 channel amplifier. The second one is a 5.1 K HD which is a five channel amplifier. They're both providing an excellent power and excellent quality outputs. Uh, the Voce amplifiers have the capability, as you can see, um, has the capability that you can actually unplug the interface, uh, which is usually in any other amplifier would just give a regular standalone RCA. So as you can see here, the difference between obviously this one and that one, this one have the standard RCA inputs and in a regular, like exist in any other amplifiers that will give you a front end and rear end and uh, we'll kind of carry the sounds from like a regular standalone radio or if we're using like a processor that only have RCA we'll plug in here. In this case because we're running the bit one processor that actually have the capability to be linked into the Voce amplifier uh, using the AC link cables uh, which is as you can see in here it's not RCA actually it's more like a data cable if you see it all the way in that corner. So right here, the whole idea behind that is to carry a full digital audio signal all the way through from the main source all the way to the processor, all the way to the factory uh, or the aftermarket amplifiers, which is a great feature that AutoSun managed, one of the only products in the market that managed to do and get it dialed in very nice. Right now, guys, we're gonna show you how we, gonna, how we usually set up a bit one processor. So we download the software, it's only working the Windows based computer. You download the software from Bit1, you can get it from their literimedia.com or obviously come with the set of discs that come with it. So we go ahead and open the, um, the app and so because it's a brand new unit, so it'll actually start as a standard installation uh, which is will got us through to do it so it asked me to go ahead with next obviously right here the parts you want to choose your low inputs or high level inputs in this case we actually using a high level inputs because we're connecting the bit processor to the OEM radio so we're gonna go ahead and check high level inputs uh, this is all the available uh, input option that it comes with the bit processor uh, either auxiliary one or auxiliary 2 or optical or phone so in that case we're just gonna go ahead and just leave only auxiliary 1 as a second uh, source of inputs and we're gonna click next here that part how we're gonna go uh, actually here's the that part how we can assign our signal inputs so in that case we have about seven inputs because Lexus usually in the factory OEM setup in Lexus uh, it's uh, it's provided as uh, provided three different signals which is uh, the high signal from the tweeters, the mid signal from the mid range, and um, the low signal that coming up from the uh, from the subwoofer. So we're gonna assign the first one to become our uh, master front lift tweeter. Channel two is gonna be our front right tweeter, and channel three is gonna be our front lift mid range, and channel four is gonna be our front right mid range. Channel five is gonna be our uh, front lift woofer. And channel five, uh, channel six will be 
right, right woofers. In this application, we're gonna be using the center channel input to retain all factory functionality as far as uh, navigation uh, voice and door chime, and Bluetooth sound from the OEM car. So we will be assigning center as a full signal. And we click next. Here is gonna ask to insert the CD, which is uh, it usually comes with the bit processor for setup. And it's gonna ask me to go ahead and put track one. So we go ahead and set track one. Make sure you're still at maximum level distortion at the radio, which is uh, usually in that case is 54. And click next. At this point now, the bit processor is actually reading all the signal coming to it from the front staging as we assign it and kind of mix them all together and sum them uh, to create a four-inch signal, a uh, clean four-inch signal to be modified from the bit processor. Right now, so far, channel three is being completed, so it will go through each channel by itself, modify the signal, and fix it. Six months later. Just next to continue right here. Right now, that part is going to come and ask if we if you are looking to de-equalize uh, the OEM source sound, uh, you have the option to either go through it or you can skip it for the minute, we're just gonna skip it and see how it sound. That part here asked me to assign our speaker outputs. So we are using a center channel and we're using a two-way in the front and we are using components in the rears and one sub. So we're gonna choose our output uh, signal that we needed to click next. Right now what we're gonna be doing is programming the AV bit in HD interface that it's connected to the AV Quattro amplifiers. So first and foremost, you want to do adjust your gain controls out here with the scope. Make sure you're getting maximum outside distortion. So right here you actually make sure that you adjusted the gain and outputs of the amplifier to maximum distortion. You can use a scope to find out the maximum distortion level and adjust your gain properly. Again, same thing here doing a 5.1 KHD. You do want to make sure that you again you're adjusting your game proper to uh, maximum distortion level that coming out from the head unit. Come on, be my baby, come on. 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 I don't know if you guys can hear what I'm hearing, but as you can see here on raw flat, everything is flat. Not a single tune have done yet. And it sound amazing. amazing. You gotta be in that car to hear it. probably heard that track at least 30 to 40 times I'm just hearing a new note I never heard before in my life in any car we have done yet it's like something else come out of those speakers hey this is Mark Weber I'm here with fantasy motorsports I just got my car done here we got some full Audison build the car sounds super clean super amazing I believe I have the violin on and the sack speakers in the front and a W6 in the back. I hope you guys liked the video. But Fantasy Motorsports hooked it up. They were with me every step of the way. You got to hear this to believe it in person, see it, to really understand it. It's a whole new world out here. Um, talk to George. Hit subscribe and like below. And they'll take care of you every step of the way. Thank you very much. Fantasy Motorsports. What? Motorsports. What? Fantasy Motorsports. No. Go on, tune your car. No.